Hey, brothers and sisters, I'm sure we are aware that we are within the 10 best days of the Islamic year. And I'm sure we've come across the hadith or we've heard it, the hadith of Ibn Abbas in radiallahu anhuma, wherein he says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, مَا مِنْ أَيَّامٍ الْعَمَلُ الصَّالِحُ فِيهِنَّ أَحَبُّ إِلَى اللَّهِ مِنْ هَذِهِ الْعَشْرِ there are no days of the year wherein good deeds are more loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than those that are done within these 10 days. Referring to the first 10 days of the month of Dhul Hijjah. We are well within these 10 days. But I want to draw your attention to a few very important factors. When we think to ourselves, that Allah loves good deeds during these days more than He does throughout the year, what's the first thing that comes to our minds? I'm sure almost all of us, myself included, we start thinking of doing extra deeds and we start thinking perhaps I can read a Quran, perhaps I can do some nafil and sunnah, perhaps I can be charitable, perhaps I can you know, do something that is voluntary, etc., not realizing that that is not where you start. That is never a starting point. And this is something that we need to clarify because many times shaitan makes us think about th that which is voluntary when we have not yet considered that which was obligatory and farad. And this is why the Prophet ﷺ says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said that the most loved deeds the deeds that I love the most from any one of my worshippers are those deeds that I have made compulsory and farad upon them. Which means your farad salah. It means your zakah. It means your fasting in the month of Ramadan, that which is farad. It means also that we should be abstaining from that which is haram, that which is sinful. Because what is the point, really, of a person who engages in lots of voluntary deeds, but they are perpetrating adultery, they are deceiving and cheating people, they are consuming usury and interest, they are perhaps gambling and on drugs and so on. We need to make a greater effort to become from among those who can quit this. So if you, during these days, decide that I have quit, this bad habit that I have had for so long, Wallahi, it is better for you than engaging in extra voluntary deeds while you have wiped them out by perpetrating sins that are major. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to abstain from major sin. So when you hear that Allah loves good deeds the most, the first thing that should come to your mind is farad that which is compulsory. Do I get up for Fajr? Let me get up early. Let me take a little bit more time in the way I fulfill my Salah. If my Fajr is five minutes every morning, let's make it 10 because this is a good deed. It's the deed that Allah loves the most and I am in these 10 days of Dhul Hijjah and I would like to improve myself as a person. So let me start increasing in terms of the quality of the good deed. Sometimes we end up missing Farad. We miss our Farad. And then we sit with a sunnah, uh, salah, and we fulfill without having made qada. Qada meaning that which is uh, fulfilling your lost salah. That which you missed for some reason, you now need to make it up. It's called qada. So it's more important to do qada than it is to do the sunnah or that which is voluntary. My brothers and sisters, this is a very interesting point. When we would like to Please, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the first thing we should do, we ask ourselves two questions. If you want to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you ask yourself two questions. The first question is, have I fulfilled my obligations unto Allah? Allah asked me to do certain things. Allah has requested from me certain things. Have I fulfilled these things? It's very interesting. Allah asked you to fulfill your salah. Allah asked you to do so many things. We know what the duties are. Allah asked you to dress in a specific way. Allah asked you to speak in a specific way. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has required from you um, that you eat in a specific type of food, etc. Have I fulfilled the obligation unto Allah? Obligation, that which is farad. The second question is, have I stayed away from that which will anger Allah? Those are the two questions. If you can answer those questions with the correct responses, you are heading in the right direction. Now, shaitan will come to us. What does he tamper with? 
Shaitan usually tempers with one of these two things. Either he makes you leave your farad or he makes you engage in sin. So now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us one of the greatest acts of worship. Do you know what it is? He taught it to Adam alayhi salam. A very great act of worship. After a sin was committed and Adam alayhi salam ate that which he was not supposed to eat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught him some words. Allah gave him a few words, taught him these words. What were these words? رَبَّنَا ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِن لَّمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا وَإِن لَّمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا لَنَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ Oh our Rabb, oh Allah. Now Allah is teaching Adam alayhi salam to say this. So we need to say this too. We say, oh our Rabb, Rabbana. Zalamna anfusana, we have wronged ourselves. What we did just now was very wrong. It was oppressing ourselves. And if you don't forgive us, and if you don't have mercy upon us, we are going to lose. So Allah taught Adam alayhi salam those words. Adam alayhi salam said those words genuinely, and he was forgiven. And Allah made tawbah one of the biggest acts of worship. So much so that the hadith says tawbah wipes out whatever sins you've made in the past. My beloved brothers and sisters, we are in the best 10 days of the year, the first 10 days of Zul Hijjah. So do good deeds as much as possible and ask Allah for forgiveness. Do sincere repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will forgive you. Allah taught beautiful du'as in the Quran. There are beautiful du'as of the prophets. Learn them, memorize them and ask Allah with them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will definitely forgive you. Allah says in the Quran, لا تكنت من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الزنوب جميعا Do not despair in the mercy of Allah. Allah forgives all of your sins. So, Always ask Allah. Allah says, Ud'uni astajib alaykum. Call me, I'll respond to your call. And Allah says in the Quran, Fasta'inu bis sabri wa salah. Ask me with patience and prayer. When you continuously ask Allah, when you do tawbah, when you sincerely repent to Allah, and when you continuously do good deeds, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will fulfill your wishes. Allah will forgive your sins. Allah will open the doors of sustenance for you and Allah will give you a happy, tranquil and serene life in this dunya and Allah will grant you Jannatul Firdausul Ala in the Akhirah. May Allah forgive our shortcomings and may Allah let us do as many good deeds as possible. So don't waste this 10 days of Zul Hijjah. Maximize your Ibadah during these 10 days and also ask Allah whatever you need. Do remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this 10 days and do a lot of zikr and thank Allah. Tahleel, takbir and tahmeed are the best things to do in these 10 days. And takbir is Allahu Akbar, tahleel is la ilaha illallah and tahmeed is alhamdulillah. And say this often. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org link in the description.